well, thank you. I'm Dr. Harrison, and I'm going to do a short dental exam on you just to see what kind of bacteria are living in your mouth. Perfect. The way we do it is we take a, um, a toothpick and we just rub it alongside your tooth, right between your two molars, and we're just going to go right here and touch between your teeth, and right here too, and touch here, and then we're going to take a drop of a, an artificial saliva solution, we're going to put it on the slide, and, and we're going to put in a, a little bit of whatever we gathered there on the slide. Your mouth is very nice and clean, and we're going to see if there's anything there. And I'm going to take a cover slip and put that on here, and take another toothpick and just press that down. All right, so this is a Nikon microscope and it's very effective in showing a phase contrast microscope and it's very effective in showing what kind of bacteria are there or not there. And so we're going to take a look right now and see. Now, what we're seeing here in this picture are uh, actually quite a few bacteria. Oh, and nice. so what we have here are white blood cells. These are white blood cells. We have here this little squiggly thing, that's actually a big squiggly thing. That was a spirochete. We have a lot of small little black dots which are either strep or staph. And uh, we can look around some more, but I see a lot of white blood cells. Now how old are you? 26. 26, you see, is about the age when people really start getting their periodontal infection in full gear. This right here is a spirochete. You can see it. They eat like a shark. They bite onto their food and they wiggle their body to rip pieces off. And here's more around here. And this is some food from this morning that you've eaten as well as bacteria. These pieces are food. And, and this is... Um, quite a, a revealing slide. You see, mm -hmm. uh, do you have any children or are you married? Or I'm anything? around children a lot, yes. You're I around children, but you don't children. have any of your own. I've never had them. You've never had them. yourself. Okay. Well, what happens is that um, one of the leading causes of low birth weight preterm babies is the presence of these bacteria. They get into the bloodstream and they go around and one of their targets is the uterus. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of young women who have low birth weight preterm babies, the reason they're having that is because of this particular infection that they have in their mouth that was gone undiagnosed even though they have regular dental checkups. This is a book that I wrote about this. It's called The Periodontal Solution, Healthy Gums Naturally. And um, it is really a, an eye-opener about all of this information that is typically not being delivered in the dental profession to you. And I feel that that's a mistake. You deserve to know this. And, and these phase contrast microscopes are available in a lot of dental offices, but um, it's, you can see its value right now because I'm sure that this is quite an eye-opener for you to see all of these spirochetes. And you have a, a number of different species of spirochetes, in fact. You have these long ones like that, you have the short ones, you have the thick ones, and, and um, the, that's the predominant bacteria that we're focusing on right now. Isn't this why a doctor often gives a person an antibiotic if they're a heart patient, if they're going to have something done to their teeth? That is a reason to do it because uh, these bacteria, if you cut on the gums and scraping the teeth to have a cleaning is uh, cutting on the gums really. Uh, so if your mouth is clean and does not have any bacteria in it, then you will not have a problem. Now I could take a slide right now, maybe this would be interesting if we took a slide right now in my mouth and I showed you what my mouth looked like. Um, I'm more, more than perfectly willing to do this and I irrigate and I, I do a program that I have, in, have created 
every single day and that works and I will take a toothpick and I'll go in here in interhoxylate here and I'll go in here and I'll just get a good sample like that and come in here and roll it out onto the slide and take a cover slip and place it on here just like we did and we'll put this up on our slide here and we'll take a look and see what we have here and and this is this is my slide here and th there's going to be hold on we're out of focus let's focus here and that's some food but I'm still not in focus here but we're not seeing any swimming any swimming um, bacteria here hold on I gotta get this good here there's something here like let's see maybe it's a skin cell no it's a, just a piece of food um, because I came to the convention and I had breakfast here too but there's no bacteria swimming you can see that it's absolutely death valley on a hot summer day and that's what we're looking for okay we're, nobody's perfect you're never gonna see a mouth that has nothing at all in it but everywhere you look you, you know you are just seeing globs of, a couple of pieces of food and stuff like that but nothing at all swimming in, in the fields here at all and that's a that's an air bubble actually but this is another couple of pieces of food okay so what I'd like to do next is I would like to teach you how to have a mouth like mine and we're gonna go to part two okay. so tune in okay.